Hi guys, Komosta and welcome to Bisaya 24-7, your official Cebuano English tutorial on the web. It is officially May 1st from my side of the globe and I want to thank you for being patient and for some of you voluntarily putting yourselves on self-quarantine perhaps due to a government or health authorities order. I salute all of you for doing the sacrifice that we all need right now to help stop the spread of this disease. I know that hard as it is, our efforts will not be in vain. I am adding this new inspirational segment for all of us who are either on a lockdown or still on a stay safe stay home order with much love to all of you my dear subscribers and followers i'm sending prayers of peace health and protection it is my great hope that with this short inspirational videos we will be able to gain courage and wisdom amidst the challenges that we are facing today and also perhaps as we go along, we will also learn a deeper understanding of the Cebuano and or Visayan translation. So welcome and um, please feel free to share this video to your family, friends, and anyone else whom you think could possibly uh, take advantage of this tutorials. And also, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So let us have this holy words of inspiration. This uh, scriptures are taken from the Christian Bible. And um, it doesn't matter if you have a different faith, a different religion, or a different kind of belief, um, you are welcome, very much welcome to partake in this tutorials. And uh, to start, when we say holy, we say balaan. So that's how it is um, said in Cebuano or Visayan, balaan. And if you notice um, th those two letters, A and A, you can just imagine a dash that separates those two letters. So that would be balaan. And then pulong translates to word. And since it says words, so we have manga. The word manga indicates a plural uh, form of the noun. So balaan nga manga pulong. Alang, that is, um, when you translate alang, that translates to four. And then inspiration is just taken right away from the, the word, which is inspiration. So we say it, inspiration. Balaan niya mga pulong alang sa inspiration. Um, today's inspiration is taken from the book of Psalms, uh, chapter 46, verse 1. And let me just read it to you. Ang Dios uban kanato. Dios translates to Lord. Uban, it means uh, with or um, accompanying kanato that means us so if i translate this it it means the lord is with us ang dios the lord maoy mao uh, equates to is so the lord is Ato, ato is ours. Dalangpanan. Dalangpanan. What is dalangpanan? Sometimes you can say dangpanan. So if you're in Cebu, 
you might say it as dang panan instead of the longer version, which is dalang panan. Just like when you say balay in Visayan, in Cebu, you can just say bye. So dalang panan. What is dalang panan? Dalang panan is something that you can go and take shelter from or if it is a person it is it's like a go-to person in time of um, need it's someone you can call someone you can go to to take a boat you know to uh, have a shelter so that is what is meant by dalang panan and then og that translates to and kusog kusog translates to strength andam when you say andam it means ready so it's anytime it's like whenever it is i'm prepared i'm ready so that's what andam means Siya, meaning the Lord. Kanunay. Kanunay translates to always. And then pagtabang. The root word is tabang, which is help. And then pagtabang. When you say pag, you imply something that is an act. So the act of helping is pagtabang. Panahon. So panahon is translated to time or a season or a moment. So panahon sa kalisdanan. What kind of season? What kind of time? What kind of moment? What kind of event? Kalisdanan. The root word is Lisud, which is difficult. So kalisdanan, it's a collective uh, reference to a continuous event, events of suffering, difficulty, hardships. So that's how that is being um, translated to English and to make it easier for you I have here the exact version in the English language so the title is the Lord is with us and you have the reference the biblical reference God is our refuge so refuge translates to Dalangpanan. And then strength, that is kusog. An ever present help. So remember when I said someone who's ready, kanunay, always. So this is the a more precise translation of that. Ever present so it's any time all the time there is no pause there is no break there are no conditions it's always ever present it's always there what is there help so it's it's a good um thing to remember that this help is not only for a certain amount of time or for a certain day or for a certain event but it is considered always there it's ever present it's never absent it's always there so I like the translation that it says it's ever present and then what it is it's ever present help in trouble so this and the context of this words scriptural words 
is the same as the uh, Visayan, the original Visayan phrase that I have pointed out earlier. So that ends today's inspirational quote. And um, I hope to see you in the next segment. Be well, everyone, and stay safe. Maayong adlaw.